So now the second part of this chapter is transfer pricing. Although the name is written like transfer pricing and multinational management control system, but we first discussed the uh, multinational management control system, and then now we are talk talking about the transfer pricing. So transfer price, the price one subunit or a department or a division charge for a product or a service supplied to another subunit of the same organization. Uh, that's a one price charge by one subunit to another subunit. Um, management control system use transfer prices to coordinate the actions of a subunit and to evaluate their performances. Uh, the transfer price set creates a revenue for the selling subunit and a purchase cost for the buying subunit, affecting each subunit's operating income. So intermediate product, unfinished products or a service transferred between subunits of the organization. So production stage, uh, stages may be in a separate subunit of an of the organization that may be geographically apart. A uh, product may be uh, proceed uh, further by the transferee or a, uh, sold directly to an external customer. Now, alternative, uh, there are three different methods that we use to transferring the price. The one is called as a market based transfer pricing. Like we transfer the one unit to another according to the market price of that product at that point or uh, in that shape or in uh, at that stage of production. Uh, cost based transfer pricing. That's another way that we use to transfer the uh, price from one subunit to another subunit. Uh, and the third one is negotiated transfer prices that the two subunits negotiate with each other and then take the price. Now, if uh, in all. Uh, management control systems. Uh, transfer price should be help achieve a company's strategies and goals and fit its organizational structure. Uh, transfer price should promote goal congruence, like everyone is trying that they produce at a minimum cost and they are selling able to sell it at a higher price. Induce managers to exert a high level of effort. Help top management evaluate performance of individual subunits and uh, preserves a high degree of subunit autonomy in decision making. So we we can uh, decentralized as well while impl implementing the uh, transfer pricing. Now this is an example of a transfer pricing as I mentioned earlier uh, that the uh, crude oil uh, contract price as per barrel of a crude oil supplied in Calgary is seventy two dollars per barrel, and that goes to the transportation division. Transportation division uh, incurred a cost of uh, one as a variable per barrel and $4 uh, per barrel uh, as a fixed cost, uh, $3 per barrel. So overall, they are adding up $4. So they buy 72, they add up four, so it's a 76. Uh, and they can sell it to the refinery uh, at what price they want to take. And then refinery division uh, is uh, selling it. Uh, by, uh, the, the refinery division cost is $14 altogether eight is variable and six is uh, fixed uh, per barrel and by this way this refinery domain is able to sell it uh, market price per barrel is 190. now they can ne uh, negotiate like a transportation domain with the uh, refining domain that uh, at what price they want to buy uh, this uh, uh, crude oil now crude oil in the market is available at uh, 85 dollars per dollar uh, per barrel so there is an option that either this refining division can uh, buy this transportation, uh, the crude oil from transportation division at the market price of 85, and this is a market based approach. Or they can negotiate between the 76 and 85 because that's a cost. 76 is the cost, and 85 is the market price. So they can negotiate in between or the third way is that at cost which is 76 so they can transfer the per barrel oil to the refinery at three different prices one is cost which is 76 one is 85 which is a market based and the one is in between these two prices and which can be a negotiated price uh, between the uh, refinery and the uh, transportation division so you understand uh, with this example uh, the the all the three approaches, the market based approach, uh, the cost based approach, as well as the negotiated uh, price approach. So provincial governments. Now there are some uh, hiccups like why uh, we do this. 
there is a, some hiccups uh, in this mechanism. Like if there is a Calgary is involved and this refinery is in Ontario, so there is a problem. Like if they want to sell it in the Calgary, the Calgary province is going to get its sales tax on that. Uh, if they're going to sell it in Ontario, so the Ontario government is going to get, uh, the provincial government is going to get a tax. So these are the challenges or hiccups. So provincial governments prefer transfer price at a market price, uh, transfer prices at a market price as it is an arm's length price, and the split of a taxable uh, income between provinces impact both the operating cash flows and the net income. Advanced transfer uh, price arrangement, that is also possible that we involve the CRA and we can uh, set a price before going into the uh, contract of that buying and selling. This is what we call it as advanced transfer price arrangement. So avoid costly and uh, legal uh, implications or tax authorities. So top management choose to use the price of a similar products or a service that is publicly available, market-based uh, transfer prices. Uh, optimal decision making under three conditions uh, if we apply the market-based approach. Uh, Intermediate market is perfectly competitive. Interdependencies of a subunits are minimal and no additional cost or benefit to the company as a whole from buying or selling in the external market instead of transferring transacting internally. Uh, a perfectly competitive market exists when there is a homogeneous product with a buying. These are the condition for a, a competitive market. In economics, we define it like uh, what is a competitive market? Uh, perfectly competitive market when the product is homogeneous, uh, buying price is equal to the selling price and no individual buyer or a seller can affect uh, the price uh, by their own actions. So allow a firm to achieve goal congruence, motivation, motivating management effort, uh, subunit performance evaluation and subunit add on. Uh, perhaps should not be used if the market is currently in a state of distress pricing. So this method is not uh, good to use if the market is distressed, means the prices are very low. Uh, distress prices, temporary price declines due to excessive supply. Uh, in the short run, suppliers deviant should meet the distress price as long as it exceeds the incremental cost. In the long run, suppliers deviant should stop producing. Cost-based transfer pricing, uh, top management chooses a transfer uh, price based on the cost of producing the intermediate uh, product. Example include, includes a variable cost, a production cost, uh, variable and fixed production cost, uh, full cost, including life cycle cost, one of the above plus uh, some markups. So useful when market prices are unavailable, inappropriate or too costly to obtain. Uh, full cost basis, many companies use transfer prices based on full cost that contain an allocation of fixed cost, fixed overhead, Co can lead to suboptimal decision in decentralized companies, and full cost based on ABC cost drivers can provide more uh, refined allocation basis. Uh, variable cost basis can lead to deviant uh, recording large losses and income due to transfer pricing. Hybrid transfer pricing takes uh, into account both cost and the market information. Types of hy hybrid transfer prices, uh, prorating the difference between maximum and minimum transfer prices, dual pricing, negotiated pricing. So prorating the difference between the maximum and a minimum cost-based price uh, transfer price and dual pricing uses using two separate uh, pricing method to price each transfer from one unit to another. For example, selling deviant receive full cost pricing and buy deviant, uh, buying deviant pays uh, market pricing. So difference in pricing is absorbed by corporate office uh, rather than operating unit promotes goal congruence and not widely used in practice. So this hybrid type of pricing is not gonna be used very effectively. Negotiated tra transfer pricing, occasionally subunit of a firm are free to negotiate the transfer price between themselves and then to decide whether to buy and sell internally or deal with external prices. May or may not bear any resemblance to cost or market data, often used when market prices are volatile, represent the outcome of a bargaining process between the selling and the buying subunits. Uh, these are the comparisons of uh, 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 these three uh, pricing mechanism, uh, internal pricing mechanism or a pricing transfer pricing mechanism. Uh, achieve goal congruence, useful for evaluating subunit uh, performance. Uh, 
uh, market based. Yes. Uh, when markets are competitive, yes, when the markets are competitive. Often, but not always. That achieve con uh, goal congruence, uh, often, but not always. And negotiated, yes. Uh, for the useful for evaluating subunit performance, uh, difficult unless transfer price exceeds full cost and even then is somewhat uh, arbitrary. Uh, yes, but transfer prices are affected by bargaining strength of the buying and selling demands. Uh, motivates management effort. Yes, yes. When the based on uh, budgeted costs, less incentives to control cost if transfers are based on a uh, actual cost. Yes. Preserve subunit autonomy. Yes, when the markets are competitive. No, because it is a rule based. Yes, because it is based on negotiation between subunits. Other factors, markets may not exist or a market may be imperfect or in distress. Useful for the uh, useful for the determining full cost of product and services. Easy to implement. Uh, bargaining and negotiating takes time and may need to be uh, reviewed regard repeatedly as a condition change. Now, minimum uh, transfer price guidelines uh, that how we can uh, charge the minimum. The minimum transfer price uh, in many situations should be minimum transfer price is equal to incremental cost per unit incurred up to the point of transfer plus opportunity cost per unit to the supplying demand. So incremental cost, the additional cost of producing and transferring the products or services and opportunity cost is the uh, maximum contribution margin foregone by the selling subunit if the product is transferred internally. Uh, multi, <laughs> uh, multinational transfer pricing and tax consideration. Uh, transfer prices across borders have a tax implication. Uh, tax factors uh, include income taxes, payroll taxes, custom duties, tariff, sales tax. So these are all the things, uh, environmental related taxes and government levies, etc. Establishing an arm length price for value added services such as marketing and intangible is difficult. So income tax Canada section 247 limit transfer pricing to five methods. And these are the those five methods. The traditional transaction method, comparable uncontrolled price, internal market based price, resale price, re, uh, the calculated arm's length resale price, and cost plus method. So transactional profit method is a profit split method or a transactional net margin method. So these are all the five methods are allowed under uh, Canadian uh, tax uh, law. So tax minimization strategies uh, establish a legitimate subsidiary in a tax haven. That is also possible and many firms are doing that. Uh, many multinational corporations, MNCs are doing that. Have no tax treaty with Canada. That is the possibility that uh, if we use the uh, tax haven type of option, so there is no tax uh, treaty with the Canada. Establish a legitimate subsidiary in an international financial center where low tax rates have tax treaty with the Canada. So and that is possible that if we are doing uh, operation or uh, setting up a subsidy in a uh, some financial centers where they, they are taxed, but uh, the tax are low uh, and we have a uh, tax uh, treaty with the uh, Canada. Uh, request an advanced pricing arrangement with all involved tax authorities. That is also possible that we can do ACA, like advanced pricing arrangement with the tax authorities. But if we are doing uh, business at uh, different locations, so we have to involve all the tax authorities of all the uh, location. So this is what uh, I want to share with you. These two chapters, uh, these two topics. Uh, one is uh, price transferring, and uh, the other one is a capital budgeting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a question, you can uh, share with uh, me your questions through email or under the comment. Thank you very much. Bye bye.